Hey guys, today I have Nsang's first single album, Beautiful Scar. There is two versions. I think it's Beautiful and Scar version. I'll have to double check on that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. We'll go through the Beautiful version first. Also, I have to say this. This album is so thick. I was not expecting it to be this thick. There's the front and back. There is the track list. And that one is the title. It's featuring Wujin of AV6. I love it so much. And these two right here are the B-sides, plus the instrumental of Beautiful Scar. But yeah, the thickness of this album is crazy. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be thicker than AB6's albums. And AB6's albums are already super thick. I actually compared it to AB6, and yeah, this is thicker. <laughs> oh, it's this part right here. Oh, there we go. Ooh, very interesting. So you can take this out. Can you? Looks like you can. It's a postcard. Okay, this fly in my room can leave, please. Anyways, here is this really beautiful photo of Insan. Oh, and that's what it looks like. Such a beautiful scar, which is the lyrics. Okay, let's open up the album. Ooh, so pretty. I really do like this packaging. Other than how thick it is, it just takes up a lot of room. So here is the CD, which is also really beautiful. There we go. And then we have this over here. This right here looks like it may carry photo cards inside that. So we'll go through the photo book first. It's actually crazy how small this photo book is and how thick the album is. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see, there's cards in here. There was a postcard in here, but no photo card. Ooh, this photo shoot is so pretty. I really enjoyed his solo debut, Beautiful Scar. It was actually better than I thought it was going to be. I really was expecting good things from that song, but um, from the teaser, I feel like it didn't sound like I thought it would when I first heard the teaser for some reason, and it, it turned out to be better than I thought it was going to be. I really like it, and with the addition of Wujin from AB6, it makes it even better. I love these two together. <laughs> and I like that Wujin promotes with him on the TV, or the TV, on the music shows. That is a really beautiful scar. <laughs> Love this photo shoot. These flowers are so pretty. Same with Insang. <laughs> There's the lyrics. Ooh, switching concept. Ooh, I like this one. This kind of reminds me of Eyes One, Onurik Diary. <laughs> Ooh, I love the red outfit. His hair looks so nice here too. I'm really happy that they got Wujin to collab with Insang. I feel like they fit really well together. Nsang has such a beautiful, soft voice, and Wujin has much deeper and raspier, like, rap voice than just the, the two together. It sounds really cool and unique, and I think it was a really good collab. And plus, they're company buddies. It was cool to see them do something together. We have an X1 member and a Wana1 member do something together. He's being so rude in this photo, <laughs> but he still looks so adorable and cute. Every time I see him, I just want to protect him and pinch his cheeks. Ooh, we love all the different concepts in here, but I now have a feeling that the other one is going to be the same photo book, maybe. Just because I'm seeing different photo shoots all in one photo book, I don't really have high expectations that it will be different, but we'll see. It will make me more annoyed if it is the same photo book, just because of how thick this album is and it was so unnecessary to buy two versions. But of course I have to, because I love Nsang and I love Wujin. Of course, anything Wujin is a part of, I have to support it. And then we have this right here. Should we go through the postcard that was with this? Here it is. I guess you can change it to this if you wanted to on the front cover. Like, you can change this, possibly. But I'll just leave it as it is, because that's how it came. And let's go through this thing. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, cute. Oh, he did a lenticular. Aw, that's so cute. Look how adorable. That's the lenticular. And then we have the photo card right here. So cute. So I got the purpley pink background concept. Oh, the back is pink. I actually think they're all different colors, like depending on the concept. So I got the pink one. Very cute. And then we get this. Oh, this is a clear. Jinhyuk did this in his first mini. 
little clear bookmark, if that's what you want to call this. And what is this? Message. You have to break it. You have to break it to read the message. Oh. Oh. I don't really know if I want to do that. You know, I'm going to have to think about it. If I do do it, I'll put it in the video as like a picture. But I'm going to see what other people are doing. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that in there for now. I'm going to also leave this in here. But we'll take these out. Oh, and I forgot to show this right here. It's a picture of him. Okay, so let's um, move on to the next version. The blue one right here. There's the front and the back. It's like slightly thicker than AB6's albums. Might as well take that postcard out. Now put it back. <laughs> Ooh, so pretty. Oh, is that his back showing? <laughs> Here's the CD. Okay. Now let's go through these. We'll go through the photo book. When I saw how cute his cards were, I was like, should I collect his cards? But after seeing how thick this album is, I have a feeling the cards may be harder to collect and I won't actually collect them, don't worry. Even if he had a thin album and his cards were easy to get, I don't think I would collect them because I collect way too many groups photo cards. I cannot be adding someone else. I mean, I am pretty caught up with AB6's cards. Like I'm only missing four for Vivid or something like that. And I'm still waiting for my M-Wave copies as well, so I'll pull cards from that. But yeah, it's not a good idea. <laughs> he looks so good in this photo shoot, so it is different. Okay, Brandy Music is doing it right. I feel like Brandy Music either really annoys me or I'm always impressed by their decision making. <laughs> this photo shoot is so beautiful. His solo debut was amazing. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this. Oh, it is totally different. Oh, this is a darker concept. Oh, I like his shirt. Ooh, his outfit here is really nice. It's almost like misleading how thick the photo book is going to be when you see the album packaging. You think to yourself, oh, cool, a nice thick photo book. But no, this photo book is pretty small. It's fine. I mean, it's not fine for my shelf space. This is such a nice photo of him. Oh my gosh, he looks so mysterious. Oh, the postcard. My bad. I really do like that you get three different concepts in both photo books. Wow. I'm kind of impressed. And this is only a single album. I wonder what Brandy Music's plan is with him. This one is my favorite B-side. But yeah, I wonder what their plans are with him, what they're going to do. I mean, I will support him in whatever he does. Also, when X1 did their um, M-Wave signed albums, I pulled his his signed album. I was so shocked by that because he's like one of my biases of X1. And I actually pulled his signed album. My luck was real. <laughs> and in the other one, I pulled Sungwoo and he was my other bias. I mean, Johan was my number one bias, but I pulled my second and third biases for those. The luck was real with that. <laughs> and then we have the other postcard right here. I guess you can change that. I'm assuming that that's what this is for because it's literally the exact same as the outside of the album. So we have that and then let's go through with this. Front and back. Let's open it and see my cards. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, sorry. My bad. Ooh, so pretty. This one is the gray back. Ooh, I really like that one. And the lenticular. So pretty. Night photo shoot. And the clear bookmark. Aw, he looks so cute. <laughs> His little smile. Adorable. And the message thing, which I'm too chicken to rip off. I don't know. 
I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I will have to see what other people are doing with that. Okay, so, oh, and this right here. There we go. Yes, so that was everything. So that was my unboxing of Insang's first single album, Beautiful Scar. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Bye.